I'm Simon Shekhead. It's Sunday, April 11th. Here are your headlines from 7 Action News as the crisis at this southern border grows larger. Federal officials turning now to Albion, Michigan. Up to 240 children expected to be housed at Star Commonwealth, a child family services organization with 350 acres in Albion. The children are all expected to be 12 or younger, and their stay is expected to be no more than 30 days. Due to privacy concerns, the exact number of children and their arrival time is not being released, but they were expected to arrive sometime this weekend. Now to the coronavirus in Michigan. As the surge in cases continues, Governor Whitmer is calling for high schools to return to online learning for two weeks. A small group of teachers gathered Saturday in Detroit, calling for schools to close for the rest of the year. They say lives are being put at risk by keeping classrooms open before kids can be vaccinated. Schools in Detroit and other cities in Metro Detroit are planning a two-week pause for in-person learning at the governor's request. Hundreds of city workers in Detroit will be returning to the job on a full-time basis tomorrow. Mayor Mike Duggan says 750 employees have been working reduced hours for the past year to save the city money during the COVID pandemic. But under the American Rescue Plan, Detroit will receive millions of dollars in lost funding, allowing employees to return to full-time employment. Hallie? Cool and breezy today. Temperatures will stay in the 50s. Occasional rain showers, especially into the afternoon and early evening. And more afternoon showers on Monday. A high of 62 degrees will be in the upper 50s to low 60s all this week.